You may look at TV medical dramas in a different light after our next story, which appeared today in the medical journal Lancet. Dr. John LaPook tells us how a medical mystery was solved in a most unusual way. Three years ago, Dieter Kleinschneider was living with a terrible illness that 10 doctors could not diagnose. He lost hearing and vision and developed heart failure before finally landing at the Center for Undiagnosed Diseases in Marburg, Germany. The director, Dr. Jürgen Schaefer, happens to be a fan of the TV series House, in which an eccentric doctor solves mystery illnesses. Yeah, it's a crazy mystery. I must admit I, I like this TV show Dr. House quite a bit and use it for teaching our medical students to think about rare and unusual diseases. After finding out the patient recently had hip replacement surgery, a light bulb went off. Schaefer remembered an episode where the brilliant Dr. House, played by Hugh Laurie, discovers what's ailing his patient, played by Candace Bergen. Fever was hypothalamic. That means brain, heart, anemia, allergy. You hear that? What do you think? I, I don't know. Think heavy metal toxicity. When our patient showed up and was saying, well, I feel really sick after my hip replacement, yeah, I was very well aware that this problem exists. So I'd, I'd seen it in, in Dr. House. She never stopped being poisoned. The diagnosis in the fictional and the real cases was the same. An artificial hip weared and teared way too much. It's cobalt poisoning. The cobalt poisoning developed after Kleinschneider's ceramic hip was replaced with a metal one. But tiny pieces of ceramic remained, wearing away the metal, creating this hole and releasing toxic cobalt into the bloodstream. The cobalt level was more than a thousand times higher than normal, but dropped to acceptable levels when the metal hip was removed. Kleinschneider is gradually improving. We contacted David Shore, the creator of House, who said, it's extraordinarily cool. And fascinating. Thank you, John.